Dubrakovich made it famous almost 20 years ago, and now a chemical suspected of causing cancer is apparently still contaminating tap water across this country. Researchers from the Environmental Working Group say they tested water in 35 cities. The chemical, known as chromium-6, turned up in 31 of them. And in 25, the levels are said to have been higher than what experts call safe. Here are the worst offenders, according to the study. Norman, Oklahoma, Honolulu, Riverside, California, Madison, Wisconsin, and San Jose, California. There is another water problem in one of California's smaller towns. Residents say it's like they're living in a third world country. Police say the water situation is so bad in the town of Seville that they have to use bottled water for nearly everything. And schools in the area are discontinuing their drinking fountains. Anita Vogel with the news. She's live in our West Coast News Hub today. And what, what's the problem in Seville? Well, Shepherd Seville is a very small town, about 350 people, and it's supported mostly by the agriculture and dairy industry. So as a result, chemicals and nitrates from fertilizer and pesticides have crept into the water system there. Now school kids at the town's only school drink out of a sparklets bottle instead of from the drinking fountains, which have been disconnected for health and safety reasons. We cannot allow families in California to wake up and fear you know, filling up a glass of water from their tap because they're going to get sick. You know, this is not going to happen in Hollywood. Parents in Hollywood don't have to worry about what their kids are drinking, so why should we? And most residents have agreed to pay an extra 50 to $60 a month to keep sparklets in their home or bottled water in their home for drinking and cooking. Shepard. What are the health problems associated with these nitrates, and, and what's the state doing about it? Well, nitrates are linked to cancer and kidney disease. They can also cause fatality in, in, in infants, something called blue baby syndrome. The state says it is well aware of these problems and it is hoping to give the town some money uh, for some new pipes. But also the public uh, health department says there are lots of towns like Seville all over California and Seville is not at the top of the list. So residents there, Shepard, are still waiting. Anita Vogel, live in L.A. Anita, thanks.